Hello and welcome to February 17th Facebook Live. We have 30 minutes together on the clock. We're going to spend about 15 minutes doing uh, some leg exercises that Glenn strategically has put together for us. And then we're going to move into uh, learning a little bit about a healthy snack. I hope you all are doing really well on your challenge uh, for the last couple of weeks. I know that I'm really increasing my fruit and vegetables um, for sure because I'm, I'm even having salads for breakfast, which is really fun. Um, and then I also have a calendar over here where I'm keeping track of if I'm doing movement breaks and standing out of my chair and trying to get all of those miles and all those fruits and vegetables in. And so I'm going to turn it over to Glenn, who is coming at you live from Virginia, ready to lead us in our lower body exercise. All right, everybody. Um, so I'm Glenn Sturm. I'm the FCS agent here in Gloucester. And yeah, as mentioned, we're going to do uh, legs and glutes, so lower body exercise. Everybody wants to get up. We're going to start with a warm up, and we'll do some reminders as we typically do with the warm ups. Um, so the best angle you can see most of me. Um, so we're just going to start a real, just nice, comfortable march to start it off. Again, we're just going to warm up first before we get into actual exercises. Now, something that Samantha and April have mentioned before that I think is important to mention this time as well. You know, we want this to be a good workout. We want it to be challenging, but we don't want you to do anything that risks your health, um, anything that, that you don't feel comfortable doing. Um, so if any point you think, you know what, this is just too much, um, go back to March, do a little dance, do something where you're active, but not pushing yourself too much. Um, with that in, in mind, a number of these workouts, I'm gonna show a few variations of things. Um, so if any point we get to the really challenging version, you're like, Glenn, I'm not about that in my life, then don't do it, stick with the easier version. Um, we're going to show you a couple versions of things. All right, we'll go from a march to moving a little bit back, back and forth. Okay, I'm just going to warm up some of those muscles. Oh, I did forget to start the timer. All right. We're going to do just this for a few more seconds. Uh, and then we'll do a couple other warm ups, and then we'll go right, right into the first leg workout. All right, do say five more seconds of this. Five. Four, two, one. Now we're gonna do some hamstring curls. I'm gonna bring the camera down a little bit for this. So what we're gonna do is just gonna bring our leg up the back as much as you can. I have almost no flexibility, so hopefully you can do better than me. Okay, I'll kick it up. Again, we're just gonna keep warming up. If you wanna make this a little more challenging, you can pick up the pace as well. We'll do this for another 10, 15 seconds. All right, now we're gonna move to jumping jacks. Now, some people are sometimes interested in more low impact jumping jacks. So here's your kind of low impact version of a jumping jack. If you don't wanna do a true one. You're gonna step out and raise your hands. Not ever leaving the ground, come back to center and then do that the other way. So this is your low impact jumping jack. Do a few of these. And then for those who are comfortable, we'll do some real jumping jacks in a little bit. Do this for about five more seconds. Then we're gonna do some real jumping jacks and then we'll get into the real leg workouts. I will say between every workout we're gonna to do today, we're gonna come back to that, that slow march because um, we wanna stay moving during this entire 15 minutes. All right, let's go into some real jumping jacks. One, two, three, we'll do 10 of these. Yep, and again, if this is too much, if you think it's a little too high impact for you, you can go back to those low impact jumping jacks as well. All right, let's go back to that march. So again, every time we finish a workout, we're gonna come back in March. So the first thing we're gonna do is squats. And just a reminder, as April had mentioned the other day, one of the, a couple of important things with that squat form. Number one, you do not want your knees to come in front of your toes. Um, and the other thing is try and keep your back and your chest up, chest up and back straight. So come back down, try and get the best camera angle here. We come down, do a regular squat. Oh, and legs at least hip, uh, width apart, and we come back on down just like that, nice and easy. We'll do five more of these. 
Let me show you a couple more variations of splots as well. Two more. All right. Now, if you want to add some movement to your splots, what we're going to do, and we'll go back to March for show some other versions. If you want some more movements to this, what you can do is you can squat and then step to either side, just like this. We're going to go down squat, come to center, step over, do our squat over here. Step to center, step over. We'll just do a few more of these. Again, as much as you can, try and mind your form. Have your chest, chest up or open, uh, back as straight as possible, and try not to have your knees come from your toes. Do one more back and forth. All right, we'll march it out. Let's see how we're going time. So we're at four minutes in. All right. So add some more leg movement. What we're going to do is we're going to squat and then we're going to kick out. So we're going to go down, squat, come up, and kick out. And then back to center, down, squat, come in, kick out. Do a couple more of these. And we're going to get to some of the hard ones. You're going to hate me. Do one more each side. We're going to march it out. All right, next thing we're going to do some squat holds or squat pulses. So we're going to go down on our squat, but then we're going to hold it for a few seconds and then come back up. Um, that'd be a nice burn in your legs, legs and glutes. All right, so again, down on the squat and then hold. Five seconds, three, two, one, up. We'll do a couple more of these. Down, hold. Two, one, up. Let's do two more. Down. And up. And one more. Down. And up. All right. We'll march it out. All right. I've got one more variation of squats for you. Hopefully, you'll be nice and uh, have a lot of versions and hopefully don't hate squats too much by the end of this. What we're going to go down is we're going to do start the same way we did. We're going to squat, we're going to hold down, and what we're actually going to do is kick one leg out like this. Then we're going to come back up. Or actually, no, sorry, hold it here. We're going to kick a leg out and bring it in. Kick the leg out and bring it in. We'll do five more of these each way. One, one, two, two. You should feel that nice burn in your glutes. Three, three, four, four. Five, five. Woo. All right, I am already sweating. Six minutes in. All right, so next we're gonna show you some versions of lunges. Um, just like squats, a couple important things with lunges. We don't want our knees to come in front of our toes. Our legs should be nice and, nice and spread. Um, and try and keep your back as straight as possible and your chest open. Um, so a couple ways you can do this. Leg out in front and again, Nice, you see how much length I have there? You see that my knee's not coming in front of my toes? And the lower impact ways we can stay in this position and go down and back up, down and back up. And another way you can do that to alternate, and it's admittedly a little more high impact, is you have to come all the way back and then switch your legs. So again, whatever you're comfortable with, you can either stay in the same position, go up and down, or you can alternate legs. We'll do a few more of these. Let's do three more total. And if you're holding in the same position, make sure you switch your legs at some point. One other thing you can do as well, and again, you can stay in that same lunge position if you prefer. We'll do some lunge walks. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me during this. What we're gonna do is take one large step, do a lunge and take another step with our other leg. Complete that walk. Come back a few times. Let's make one more rotation. 
We are more than halfway done, folks. Hopefully your legs are starting to burn. All right, and then we're gonna march it back out. All right, one other thing you can do with your lunges, instead of stepping forward, like I showed before, you can do what's called reverse lunges. It's just as you think, instead of stepping forward, we're gonna step back. We're gonna take that big step back and down. Come back and rotate the other leg. Try to keep our back straight, chest open. And again, not having our knees come in front of our toes. We'll do three more of these. You can either keep your hands on your, wherever they're comfortable really, but either hands on hips or hands together. I know I said three more, but I lost count. I think that's probably three. All right, march it on out. Now we're gonna do side lunges. We're gonna get our body like this, legs at least hip width, or more than hip, hip width apart. And then we're gonna lean in. Again, try and keep your, your chest open and back straight. One side and then come back and do the other side. We'll do, let's say four, three more of these on either side. One, one, two, two, three, and three. All right, I'm already starting to sweat out my office. All right, so the next one we're gonna actually have you guys get in the ground. We're gonna do something called glute bridges. All right, so get on the ground like this. Um, your shoulders staying on the ground. And what we're just gonna do is we're gonna just uh, lift our hips um, and as high as, you, high, high as you can. So lift your hips like this. One. We'll do five more of these. Two. Do one more. All right. And a variation to make this a little more challenging. On the next one up, we're going to hold it for five seconds before we come back down. So one, hold for one, two, three, four, five. Come back down. And go again. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. The blue should be really burning. Do two more. One, two, three, four, five, and one more. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we'll come back up and come back to march. All right, and I think we'll have one or two more before we go to our kind of cool down. All right, so we're gonna do some calf raises. So keep our posture straight. And if you need help, you probably shouldn't do a rolling chair like this, but if you need help with balance, grab this or grab a wall or something more stable. We're just gonna lift ourselves up onto our toes. One, we'll do 10 of these. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine, and 10. We're gonna march it out. Now, one more harder variation of this is we're actually gonna go and do one leg each. We're gonna do 10 on either leg. Again, if you're not comfortable with the idea of doing one leg calf raises, you can do two. If your legs are completely burned out, you can just stay in march or you can dance, do whatever you want, just stay active. We're gonna come back, come back, <laughs> exactly, just like that. We're gonna lift one leg up. If you need to stabilize yourself, you can grab a chair or wall, and then we're just gonna lift off of that one leg. So we'll start with the left leg. One, and back. Two, and back. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. You start burning, right? Nine, 
and 10. Give your calves a second off. We're going to go back to march. And then we're going to switch our, to our right leg. So again, we're going to plant our right leg, put our left leg up. We're going to do 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And all right, we'll come back to March and we're actually gonna start slowing down and come to our cool down. So we're gonna march and we're gonna start slowing down our march a little bit. We're gonna do our side to side, nice and slow. Just a couple, I know we've, we're just about hitting the 15 minutes. So a couple stretches you can do as well is go reach down to your toes as much as you can. Unfortunately, you all will see my complete lack of flexibility here. Give that a nice good stretch. Whew. All right, and when you come up, we're gonna come up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time, all the way until we're getting up with our neck. All right, stretch out the hamstrings a little bit. Um, and again, if you need some balance, you can grab a chair. Go ahead and grab your leg. Or not, yeah, I'm going to get us a nice stretch. If you want to work on your balance, but only if you're comfortable with that, you can use your other hand um, and use this as a way to help you balance. You can lean forward even a little bit. But again, whatever you are comfortable with. You can stay here and hold it. And use your arm to help with your balance. You can even lean forward if you'd like. Bring it down. We'll do the other leg. Turn my chair around. Stretch it out. Again, either using something to help with balance. You can use your arm. Lean forward if you want a little more challenging, a little deeper arm stretch. All right, and there's a couple other stretches we could do as well, but we are past the 15 minutes. Hopefully that's been a good challenge. As you can probably see, I am very sweaty after that. So hopefully you all enjoyed that workout as well. All right, well, we'd like to thank Glenn for leading us in um, leg exercises. I did not participate along as I um, was finishing getting our snack ready to go today. So yesterday we tried out a new recipe. It's called Chillin' Out Pasta Salad and it was delicious. We had it for lunch today, and we thought it would be a really great um, addition for a lunch or a supper as a side salad. Um, today, we ate it just as a salad for lunch, and uh, we ended up actually doing a few modifications to it yesterday um, because we were grocery shopping in Lusk, and grocery options sometimes are a little limited. So we started out with two and a half cups of medium shell pasta, and we ended up just using regular white wheat or white um, pasta, but the recipe does um, call to use whole grain pasta. So when we look at our whole grain versus our regular, um, we start looking at our fiber content. So the regular pasta has two grams and our whole wheat has seven grams. So it's a great way to add some fiber into our diet if we do choose to um, go with a whole grain pasta and it wouldn't have changed the end product at all. So we definitely encourage you to try adding some whole grain and even go half and half if um, that's what you want to do. So then you're gonna add in one cup of non-fat plain yogurt, um, which was also not available at the grocery store here yesterday. So we actually substituted um, low fat mayo in place of the yogurt and we all thought it turned out really great. It does alter your nutrition facts, just a little bit of what the recipe is that I'm gonna post, um, but the flavor was the same. So that's a great um, substitution. And in our part of the world, what's available at the grocery store um, definitely drives what we have available to make um, food with. So we've learned to adapt quite a lot. We then added two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard, 
two tablespoons of salt-free herb seasoning. So we used Mrs. Dash's just table blend um, and it had a great um, herby flavor that was perfect. And um, it's a really great recipe to, and a great way to start watching how much sodium you're gonna consume while um, cooking a dinner or a snack. So the try a salt-free um, mixture. We added one and a half cups of celery, a cup of green onions that were sliced, a pound of small shrimp that were cooked with the tails removed, and three cups of coarsely chopped tomatoes. Um, so you mix everything together, leaving the tomatoes out until everything's well blended and then add your tomatoes in very last and then chill it. And this is what the salad looked like and we really enjoyed it for lunch today. It's been really nice. Um, after the frigid cold last week, 22, 23 degrees yesterday, um, felt balmy and everybody was running around in t-shirts. So it was kind of nice to have a summery um, dish for lunch today. We've been eating lots of heavy, hearty soups the last few days. So the really light salad tasted great. And with the celery, green onion, and tomatoes, we have a really nice serving of our vegetables in the, the salad. So we thought that would be a fun one to share with you guys today. And since we had purchased celery yesterday, I've been snacking on the leftover celery, and we thought it would be fun to pull out the good old um, bugs on the log, which was my first 4-H presentation a million years ago, but it's definitely a standby favorite snack. So again, getting some nice protein, um, some more vegetables with our celery, and then you can add a little bit of fruit with some raisins. So I'm just gonna fill my celery stock with um, some nice peanut butter. And we've had some of the 4-H kids that can't have peanut butter, so we've done um, a few variations to this. Um, we've used Nutella, which the kids have really enjoyed, and we've done cream cheese. So if you have a nut allergy, there's still ways to kind of dress up that plain stock of celery and still get, again, lots of good fiber in with our celery and some good protein options. So a few raisins on one for our bugs on our log. Um, I also had some sunflower seeds stashed in my desk. So a fun way to add a few more little sprinkle of a different kind of bug to this celery stick. And if need be, just some low fat cream cheese spread. Um, if you're not craving the peanut butter and this is caramel and not cream cheese. So I won't actually put one on there. I grabbed the wrong one container out of the refrigerator, but just a fun, easy snack um, to share with the kids. Um, I love to take it in my lunch. I send it with my husband for his lunch occasionally. It's just one of those that sometimes a plain old stock of celery isn't really that exciting, but you add a little peanut butter and some bugs to liven it up and you have a really tasty snack. So hopefully you'll um, remember some of those snacks that we loved as kids that really are tasty, healthy um, protein, some fruit and vegetable mixed in to um, kind of get us through these next couple weeks of winter blues and have some healthy snacks and try the pasta salad and tell us what you think. So <coughs> with that, I think I will turn it back over to Samantha or Glenn and they can um, give us a little update on what's coming next week and we'll go from there. <coughs> Thank you so much, Erin and Glenn. It's always great to move with you. I'll share my favorite quote again. Can't remember if I said it last week or how many times I said it last week, 
but when we break bread and break a sweat, we can build community together. So thank you for spending um, this 30 minutes together. Come back next week. We have someone else leading, so you'll get new ideas for um, healthy snacks and uh, ways to move in your body. I also shared, since we have uh, four minutes left, but I won't take all four minutes, but I am doing four minute activity breaks. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, we'll add that to our Facebook page and our posts. Um, because really, uh, we got into this idea that sitting was the, you know, the, one of the least healthy things we were doing. And it's not necessarily sitting only, it's the fact that we're sitting and then not moving. And so I'm playing some fun songs. I don't know if you can see, but I've got some hand weights, just um, I'll leave them nearby. So it's that cue to action to just get up and move. Again, I've got this calendar next to me to see how many four minute activity breaks I do, um, because I'd really like to make sure that I make it all around the state um, with my physical activity miles. So thank you so much. As always, let us know if there's any content that you'd like to see. Please also check out our Instagram page. So we have um, the Facebook that you're joining from Facebook Live. Um, and then we also have of our um, Instagram post, which is P-A-R-C-I lab um, on Instagram and let us know if there's anything else and we can't wait to see you next week. Thank you.